YouTube, let's paint some shit! Oh, what these colors? I think it's called like lava or volcano. So yeah, it's like lava, orange. I don't know. I, just looking at it, I thought this is gonna be a bit of fun. I don't know. Two little things, eh? It doesn't cover too bad over this ground coat. Ground coat on my um, spray out card, F4 wet on wet, and yes, spray coat, it was covered. Oh, I got a bit more false edging to do down there. Where's my tape? There it is. Last minute. I hate masking with gloves on, but I can't be bothered taking them off. Oh, uh, well, Monday, eh? Bit of Monday artist today. Give myself a little bit more room. I'm like I'm bumping up against that wall there. Get a second coat down, nice and wet. It's gonna give me most, mostly covered after that second one. Third coat should get there. I might even just put a fourth on just to be sure. I don't want to go and get this door on the car and then find out it's slightly see-through. Reds and oranges um, are renowned for not covering too well in silver. If this was um, waterborne, it'd just be one and a half coats as usual. Uh, with the Chromax Pro that I'm, I used when I was spraying water anyway. Yes, screw it floors, I still like solvent. It looks, it's visually covered on the inside after one coat, so Two's all it's going to get on the inside, that's all they do from factory. They, um, they barely even get the cars covered anymore. And many spots they don't get the cars covered. Yeah, there was like a little tip here, I've picked up with a bit of fine filler. I actually found one here, I didn't see that until it was in the boat, that's unlike you, Danny. What's going on? Down there, that's it. Yeah. And there's another little one there I missed, I would have picked them up. Too late. In the boat, I'll just puff a bit of colour over them. The freebies anyway, not that, it's not the damage that the car was here to have done anyway, so it's not the end of the world. Check another little one there. 
Oh, it's a daily driver. Give her a tidy up. Smash a couple of coasters down up there on it. You're laughing, mate. Happy days. So, I mentioned in the masking video to this that I think I'm going to put down some face coat blender for what it's worth. I may as well. It's not going to take long. And it's like one of those 50-50s I probably wouldn't actually have needed to, but if you ever get those 50-50s, I just use it, you know. Get a safe and sorry. I won't actually be putting much colour around up the top here. Check colour low. I will put a bit of colour over that tip there. And this one, as I mentioned earlier. Because that's going straight over red, that's probably only going to need two coats there. An extra coat obviously where these tips were. Because it's white. I need to cover that up. But yeah, this is just a little bit over that tip there. Feet to touch up anyway. Alright, so one more coat after this, it's just about to see us there. There's a little cut through there when it's from my prep work, so I'll put another quick one over that. And then the next one will be our final blend and effect coat. Yeah, it's a nice warm day today, it's like well, at, on my lunch break, it was 24 degrees, which is beautiful. And it's actually winter, believe it or not. That's what you get in winter, 24 Celsius. Huh. Gotta love her. Single up weather already. I've got a little bit more out in the pot there. I'll be back in a minute there, Gunner. Hold that thought. Righty here. Just reloaded that gun. Got a little bit more in there now. I'll do that blend. That actually looks like it's blended out okay already. After just one coat. But we'll put our second down. Well, second on the body, and it's going to be fourth on the door, just to be sure. I don't want to get that thing outside and find out it's see-through. Lovely. 
And that's it. I am going to do a little touch up down here though, actually. The little kit, I didn't want to go and spray the colour all the way down here. a bit too much there. So I'll go out, clean out that base coat gun, get some clear in my vigilante and clear this bad boy up. Radio YouTube, so I'm going to throw some clear coat over this RAV4. Kind of a pretty cool colour, should be a bit of fun to clear up. Nice bright orange. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use the Lotus Special Edition again. I've had a few people ask for me to revisit it, and yeah, let's do it. So I actually had a guy leave a comment on my review, uh, the, yeah, the, the straight out review on my main channel, and I actually think he might have even been from NSI Water because he signed off, he goes, so and so is like Gareth or whatever it was, um, NSI Water UK. So yeah, this guy could have been from UK. He seemed pretty, um, he seemed pretty uh, like, yeah, he, he received the review quite well, um, but he did say, try changing those settings up a little bit. He said, wind the uh, fan all the way in and then come out one and three quarter turns and fluid, full fluid. So yeah, he did kind of go right into detail as to why they did uh, make the fan so big. Um, yeah, I recommend going over there and checking out the comment that he left if you can dig through and find it. Yeah, the long and the short of it is he said try these settings and it should speed the gun up um, quite significantly. He said spray it at 29 psi, so full full trigger. So you know when you're at, so you can still wind that out, but you know when you're at full trigger when you go like this. As soon as it starts, as soon as you pull the trigger and it starts pushing it back, come back out another quarter of a turn or whatever and you're at full trigger. As soon as you can um, wind it in and start feel it pulling on the on the trigger itself. Um, so that's two bar, 29 PSI. Um, one and three quarter turns out on the uh, fan and he said that should speed it up quite a bit. Yeah, this thing's a beast, I love it. I still don't know if it's quite as fast as my Pro Light or if it's just me. But that's laying it down quite nice, really. We'll go a little bit heavier on that second coat. Hard to fault that. And it's a beautiful spray gun. That review of mine has actually been... Um, oh, it's like... 21 or 22,000 views on it so it's uh, reached quite a few people and yeah it's a really really beautiful gun this thing I'll tell you what it's been one of my better performing videos of late <coughs> that's always a good thing reached the masses But yeah, it's probably, I don't know, I just love the green on this thing and the, the black and the gold highlights. And yeah, this is definitely moving a lot faster. So winding that fan in, obviously you've got to speed it up because you're narrowing, um, narrowing it down where you're actually uh, spraying and then opening that fluid up. I guess maybe sometimes... <coughs> When I get a new gun, 
I'd probably approach it with the Velvet settings in mind, but not all guns really like to be sprayed like a developer. Not the way, it's all good. So yeah, just one coat is all I need to spray on the inside of these cans. If it's all clear this, stand up, stand it clear. POC hardener in it. I've got this fast hardener. I like smashing on the fast hardener. It's all you need for everyday refinishing. Smash work. Get in, get out, fake it, get on the next one. Yeah, I think I, I could see myself using this more often actually, on these settings. I do get a feeling it's just a little bit more hungry than my Pro Light. Like it just wants to go through a touch more clear. Not the end of the world. looking pretty nice so fingers crossed we're going to have enough um, I mixed up 700 mils you know I don't think I'm going to have enough that would have been enough in my pro light so honestly if I don't use this daily it's probably going to be the material consumption that's going to really be the deal breaker for me I could probably get the HVLP air cap to use a lot less paint with the eye water sipping over. Let's see if we can stretch this out over the car. I don't want to have to go out and mix one up. You know what, I reckon I might just make that actually. Yeah, we'll make it. I think we're just going to make it. Oh. I'm going to go get some fade out dinner and just squirt that with fade out because there's already one coat there. Alright, so I've got some fade out thinner in that gun which is the Chromax AK350. That job actually looks sick, eh? I'm quite happy with how this came up. So this is just going to help fade any of that overspray in. That's fine. That's good. Uh, that, that thing's a beast. I like this gun. It, it is a little bit more hungry than my Pro Light though. Like that would have definitely been enough with my Pro Light.
Yeah, I mixed up 700 mils for this job. It would have been enough with my Pro Light. I know it would have been, um, but I just ran out. So probably maybe an extra 50 mils uh, to do those door jams. So not a massive amount. Something that in future I'll just sort of um, compensate for when I do mix my clear up. Just mix that a little bit more up. Um, but have a look at that, mate. That's killer. Nice finish. Just nailed that factory Toyota finish. Nice glassy stand up clear over it. I'm pretty happy with that. So there you go. If you do have a supernova and you're not using these settings, I recommend giving them a try. That guy from, I think he said he was actually from an SDI Water. Yeah. He's on the money, he knows what he's on about. So, full fluid, full fluid. Um, one and three quarter turns out on the fan and two bar pressure. It's, it speeds the gun up quite a lot, but you still get a really nice flat finish. I'm quite happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Coming out. Yeah, I like that color too. I reckon it's cool. Get out there and paint some shit.